Hi there, I'm Jane Yolen. I'm the guest of honor at FerryCon, and it's been a ball. Uh, I think my favorite thing of all were the green men who came around, um, dropping four acorns and a sprig of rosemary, and blessing my booth while I sat uh, signing books. Mythic it. journeys and the mythic Walk imagination is, to, is what we are about. Yes, thank so you. green blessings be upon you all. May you know much bounty. Puff and horn, puff and horn, all that I shall be reborn. Torn and grain, torn and grain, all that fall shall rise again. There are two questions I get all the time. Um, the first one is where do you get your ideas from? And this, the, in a sense, the best answer I ever heard given to that was by Norton Juster, who said, I get them from a post box in Poughkeepsie. And, you know, the children that he said that to didn't quite get it. They were going, oh, how do you get to that post box? And who puts it in the post box? No, no, no. It's, it's actually everywhere. Your ideas are everywhere. Ideas are very common coin. Um, they're not... Uh, it's not what the ideas are, it's what you do with them. We could all have the same idea. We could give the same idea to, say, four different writers. And if you gave it to me, to Dr. Seuss, to Maurice Sendak, and to Stephen King, and you gave us each the same idea, you would have four totally, totally different stories at the end of that. So it's not the particular idea, it's how you shape it, how you tell it. Now, the other question that I get here at FairyCon is, do you believe in fairies? And I say, I believe in metaphor. I believe in the fairy experience, the angelic experience, the dragon experience. But I see that as conscious metaphor. I see that as telling me something about the world that I live in. Um, and I make stories about it. But if you think that my stories are true, well, they are true perhaps with a capital T, but not true with a small t. They're metaphor. I have a magic word that I tell all young writers uh, because everybody wants to know what's the magic secret to writing 300 books, and it's very simple. Uh, it's called Bic, but in chair. And there's a sort of corollary to that, which is hop, which is hard on the page. So those two things, Bic and hop. Um, if you sit down every day and you write, uh, you'll have something written at the end of the year. It may not be great prose, but you'll have a start. But when I teach, and I've, I've taught a lot of workshops on writing, and I always say to them, when I look around the room, that probably half the people there are at least as talented as I am, and about a quarter of them are probably more talented than I am, but I'm probably the hardest working. And that's, that'll get you a long way towards getting published. Um, I've just finished a new short novel uh, for young adults called Snow in Summer, which is a, uh, a retelling of Snow White, except set in um, in the Appalachian Mountains in the 1930s and 40s. And now I'm working on another short novel about uh, Sleeping Beauty called The Thirteenth Fay, and I'm halfway through it, about 20,000 words in. They're both quite short, uh, but they're gonna be sort of small size, elegant, with gold around the edges. A little bit of, little bit of um, book publishing insight here. The editor wanted to put a ribbon in the books. I'd always wanted a ribbon in one of my books. It costs a dollar per book more on the price to have a ribbon in the book, so no ribbon. You'll have to put your own ribbon in the book. Well, let's see, I have 300 books out, and um, it depends if you want a book for little children. You might want either Owl Moon or How a Dinosaur Say Goodnight. If you want easy readers, you might try the Commander Toad books. If you want middle grades, you might try Boots and the Seven Leaguers, which is a fairy novel. Um, if you want young adult, you could try um, Sword of the Rightful King, which is an Arthurian novel. 
You could try Armageddon Summer, which is a realistic novel about a boy and a girl who, whose parents drag them up on a mountaintop in, into a cult. Um, and sort of, I always call it Romeo and Juliet at the end of the world. And um, if you want an adult book, you might try Sister Emily's Lightship, which are some of my short stories. Uh, there's quite a range. If you really want to know, you can go to my website, which is at www.janeolan.com.